Okay, so I tried to go live on my page to show you guys what I'm cooking today, but the connection is just really bad for whatever reason today. So um, I'm just going to re-record a little bit. I've got my um, artichoke mixture over in the flax already done, so I'm going to show you guys that real quick. I'll bring you back over here and show you what I did. So in here is just artichokes and a clove of garlic that I peeled. And then I literally just turned this puppy on and mixed it all together. This is what's going to go on top of my pasta along with my shrimp. So this is a super simple recipe that you can toss together. So let me bring you back over here. Hopefully you don't get too dizzy. So I'm going to salt my water a little bit. And then I'm going to do fettuccine. So this calls for a different pasta, but I like fettuccine. And so I'm going to do what I like. And since it's just me eating it, I usually just do about that much pasta and then let it just cook. So I've got my pasta in my pot. I've got this skillet heating a little bit. and I'm just going to give it a little pat. They're still a little frozen, but it's going to be okay. It doesn't have to be perfection, and I'm really hungry, so I'm going to let it be today, as they say. You know, just let it be, let it be. Okay, so I am going to pat this dry just a little bit, and I am going to toss this in the skillet and I am using my taste buds rub let me get this open so this was a one that was sent a couple weeks ago that I never got to use but what I love is that it doesn't go to waste because it's just the spices and spice is really what makes the difference between this dish and that dish. So I'm just going to do like a tablespoon of rub on here, grab some tongs, give them a really good toss. And since it's a stainless steel nonstick, I don't need any of the oil. If I wanted the flavor of the oil though, I could add a little olive oil. But I think with the artichokes and such, I'm not really going to need that. So let me get my pasta fork out. Get my pasta all separated here. I'm going to turn you guys just a little bit more so, oopsies, so y'all can see what I'm doing here. There you go. Okay. So I'm making a mess with the water. I've got the pasta going. And then I've got the shrimps going. Delicious, delicious. Turn my heat up on this. Okay, let's check my recipe. All right, I've got the artichokes and stuff done. We're doing this just until they're done. And then... Okay, so this is such a simple recipe, guys. Literally, I'm just bringing this to a boil as soon as the pasta's done, which will take about seven minutes. I am going to toss the shrimp in with some pasta water and the artichoke mix, mix that all together and um, top with lemon juice and parmesan. Now the one thing I am going to do too is I'm going to add a little bit of pea protein to my dish just to add a little bit of extra protein. If you don't need any extra protein, which most of us actually don't need that, we need more of the kale and fiber, then you can do that. Or you could also add um, super veggie too. Um, which gives you just a lot of extra veggies. So this is probably what I'm going to add to mine is a super veggie. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll post the recipe in the comments. And if you have not gotten into the Taste Bud subscription, definitely check out my YouTube video that tells you all about all the benefits and why this is the month to get in on the fun. Talk to y'all soon.